Here's your word for the day from Calvary in Lake Havasu. Visit us on the web at calvaryaz.com. Hello, Calvary. I'm Pastor Rick, your North Campus pastor. It's great to be with you today. This is a beautiful February day here at Lake Havasu. Winters are awesome here. Great weather, mild temperatures. They're wonderful. But we do know one thing, that summer is coming. And what does summer mean for most people around Lake Havasu? It means that it gets hot, very hot. But that's not always a bad thing. How do we know that summer is coming here in Lake Havasu? Well, first we start seeing the snowbirds go home. Our winter visitors head back to where they came from so they can mow their yards and clean up for the winter time. The other thing we see around here is we see the boats start to be pulled out. All the boaters are getting their boats ready because boating season is coming and it's time to get out on the lake. And that's why most of us live here in Havasu. We love the lake. So summertime to us means boating season and having a great time with our friends and our family. Beginning in Matthew chapter 24, Jesus' disciples asked him a question. They asked him, Jesus, what will be the signs of your coming and the end of the age? And Jesus begins to, in Matthew chapter 24, list different things that will take place. He mentions wars and rumors of wars. He mentions earthquakes and famines, among other things. And in our scripture that we're reading today, we want to read Matthew 24 and verse 32. And Jesus said, From the fig tree learn its lesson. As soon as its branch becomes tender and puts out its leaves, you know that summer is near. So also when you see all these things, you know that he is near at the very gates. Truly I say to you, this generation will not pass away until all these things take place. Heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will not pass away. So, do you see the signs of Jesus coming even now? Have you heard of wars and rumors of wars? We hear of what's going on in our world, and especially with Israel. Israel's in the news all of the time now. We also hear of earthquakes and famines. Did you know that even today there were 11 earthquakes that took place around the world? And the day's barely half over. You can Google that. That's what I did. So... We see the signs of Jesus coming in our day today. And we're talking about Israel too in the Bible. Many times the nation of Israel is actually referred to as a fig tree, as in the scripture here. We're hearing about Israel and what's going on there all of the time in our news today. And we know that Israel became a nation in 1948. Its homeland was restored and its national identity was given back to it. So it has maintained that and defended that until today. And we see that Jesus says in this scripture that this generation will not pass away until these things take place. So the question is, how long is a generation? Well, in Genesis, Genesis refers to a generation as up to 100 years. In the book of Psalms, it's referred to as up to 70 years. And in other scriptures, it's referred to as 40 years. So if we do the quick math, since 1948, 40 years has already taken place. It's gone past us. Actually, 70 years a few years ago has gone past us. So we are right there in the window where Jesus could come any day according to scripture. We don't know the day or the hour, the Bible says. But what do we know? Well, we do know Jesus is coming back and coming back soon. He tells us that time and time again in the New Testament that he will come back. The other thing that we know is we are seeing the beginning signs of Jesus' return. And the third thing we know is that God is in control. God is in control of all the details of our lives. And the important thing to remember is God knows the time. And God knows the day, and God knows the hour, and he has it all in control. So what do we need to do today? We just need to rest in the Lord, and we need to be ready and waiting for Jesus' return, because he is coming. Are you watching and waiting? 
Today, Calvary, all we need to do is just look up and look for Jesus to return because it could happen today. And in the meantime, while we're waiting, go buy a boat. Better yet, have your friend buy a boat so you can go out on the lake with them this summer. Get ready because it's going to be a great summer. God bless you, Calvary.